Because you, do we, can we all believe that we came from two people? One man, one woman. Yeah. Give me a read. Is that what the word of God says? I got Is that the word of God says that we come from two people? Okay. All right. Yeah, the word of God said. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna answer your question. Yeah, the word of God said. Um, um, brother, be patient. I'm about to answer your question because everything that he said, just from your questions, your questions are not unique. We had these questions. We deal with these questions all the time. The answer is in the Bible. Now, now, first, you said a lot of things. Give me Isaiah 41:21. I'm gonna start there because. <clears throat> Everything we say is coming out of here. You know why? Do you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because as repentant Israelites, meaning as men that don't consider themselves African American or black or Negroes or whatever our slave masters or our oppressors put on us. Right. Meaning we've come back to the full knowledge of who we are. We had these same questions when we were searching. Okay? I know I know you got a lot of questions, but I'm, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 21. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the king of Jacob. So now, we can answer all of these questions right out of here. Your question was... Can two people produce all these people, right? We believe, I said, do we all believe that uh, mankind started with two people? So now I'm gonna answer that question. Because it's obvious what you believe and what we believe are two different things. I'm gonna answer your question with the Bible. Because first, before I get the uh, answer, Psalms 111 and 10, I'm gonna show you why you have that understanding which is incorrect. That's what you've been taught. We was taught the same thing, but we're going to actually teach you the truth. Right. Psalms 111 and 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So one of the reasons why so many blacks and Hispanics don't understand the Bible is because they don't keep God's commandments. That's right. They don't understand that the Bible is a spiritual book. Right. Okay? So many of us were led by pastors with no understanding. Right. And the Bible even prophesied of that. But now let's get to the question. Let's go to Genesis. Let's get to the question. About the two people. Let's start. Yep. Let's go. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Wait a minute. Now first, what image is God? Uh -oh. Do you know? I don't know anything. You don't know? I don't know anything. Well, you know something because you're coming up here with these kind of questions. <laughs> now, now if we go if we're gonna dialogue like reasonable men. Do you know the image of God? Okay, so then we're going to show you. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is the Most High God, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So the Most High God had woolly hair. Let's go back to, to Genesis 126. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. So now, man was formed of the dust of the earth. So all the original men were what? Dark colored men. Fair, fair skin and dark skin, two different things. They were dark colored men. Now, wait a minute, we're going to answer your question. We all believe this. You, you keep asking the question and the answer is no, we don't all believe it. And I'm proving it to you. If you have patience, you're going to get the answer. If you have patience, this is what we're answering. Do you understand what we're doing? Do you understand that I'm answering his question, but I have to tear down the, the thoughts that the white man put in his head to get the right answer? 
That's what we're doing. That's why I'm showing you. The Bible says that we was made after the image of God. So now I got to show you the image of God first. Right. Or else you won't understand. Right? So now. So now. No, no, hold on. We're going to answer this question because maybe his brother want to know. We don't. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Male and female created he them. Who is the them? Who is the them? Because this is getting to the medial question. Who's the them? You don't know? Give me uh, chapter 5. We're going to show you who the them is. Now, let me ask you something while he gets this. Not only did God create man, what did he create before man? Didn't he create cattle? Didn't he create birds? Right. Didn't he create fishes? Right. So do two goldfish make a shark? <laughs> no. Do two mockingbirds make an eagle? Right. No. That don't make no sense. Do two cats Two little cats that you see in the alley make a tiger. No, that don't make no sense. Now look, read on. Genesis chapter 5, verse 2. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam because he made other nations at the same time. That's but right. Adam had dominion over them and he named them after himself. Right. So there was other people at the same time. You have the understanding that the white man gave our people, and that's why we think, well, two people, uh, okay, it's impossible all these people came from two people. Okay, so now you got a different question. Go ahead. We all came from the same general day. At, at one point in time, there was not 7.2 billion people on Earth. Okay. At one point in time, there was just one little festival club of people, correct? What's your point? I'm just trying to get to what the point is. I'm, I'm asking a question. I'm going to, was there just one? Let me ask you this. During the time that you're talking about, was the white man on the earth? Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't follow that. No, 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 no. That's a, that's a, a, a reasonable part of your analysis. So okay. was the white man okay. on the earth during that time? For, for your satisfaction, no. No, it ain't for my satisfaction. It's about the truth. You came with the question. Yeah, and this is the question. The question is, at one point in time, there was one group of people on earth. Correct. There's 18 nations of people. You come from one of them. We come from one of them. So... Your, your, your analysis that we are the same people is incorrect. From the beginning, it's incorrect. We can prove it right here. Right. So We can go to Genesis chapter 10 and prove and disprove all that you're talking about. In the beginning, was there just one group of people? I just answered your question there. If you right, read about, Genesis what, chapter what 10. About Genesis 6 about the giants? What about the giants? You, you think those are giants like what, dinosaurs or something? We can answer that question. What is your question? Because first you just said you're just a man. What is your question? That group of people. You, we still ain't getting that. That group of people. That one group of people. What one group of people? At one point in time, there, God didn't just say, all right, there's 30 people over here. There's 30 people over there. There's 40 over here. There's 40 people. And it covers the whole globe. At one point in time, there was one group of people. He said that. The top when? Prove that. That's what that's. Your brother, that's the first thing I just said. The Bible says produce your car. I gave you the answer. You just don't you like the no, answer no. you got. You say yes or no. You still have to say I did say no. Oh. And we read it. So there wasn't one group of people. No, we read it. So, there were other people. That's what I just gave you the analogy of the animals. So Was it just one kind of animal? So that means that I ain't talking about kind. All of those people, be it 12 tribes, be it 38 tribes, were they all one group? No. Okay, that's, that's the only question I had. Okay, all right. I'll take it. All right. So now that we answer the brother's question, we are out here to show you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Now, give me the book 
of 1 Timothy chapter 6. Now give me 4 and 4 for, or 4 and 1 first. We're going to show you. See, you, I'm going to show you what happened, brother. You out here to learn the word. You getting fed in the scriptures, and then here come the devil with doting about little stupid questions. And then when he don't get the answer he like, he's like, I'm out of here to go home and study, to come back the next time we out here with more stupid questions, unless he repents. Read. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. And, and listen, don't think that, that, that we out of the spirit doing it, because our forefathers did the same thing. Our forefather did the same thing with the prophets of Baal. You understand? They come out here trying to prove all kind of madness. Let me ask you something. What does that have to do with your salvation? Right. It ain't got a damn thing to do with your salvation, right? right? What does that have to do with the fact that our black men don't marry our black women? Right. And and therefore children grow up in single house, single family households and get turned over into a, a system that, that'll send them straight to prison. Right. What does that have to do with that? What does that have to do with the fact that most of us work 10, 12, 15 hours a day trying to pay bills because the Bible prophesied we will be subject to payments. Right. What does that have to do with any of those things? Bring it out. It don't have nothing to do with that. And we're going to show you that this man that just walked away was prophesied in the Bible. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That was this brother. We in the last days, you come, the Lord leads your spirit here to learn who you are. That you are Israelite of the tribe of Judah. Right. And what you must do to repent to gain the kingdom of heaven. And then here come one that's led of the devil with his seducing doctrines that he he Googles. And now he's a Google prophet and he right. thinks he's going to stand before the prophets of the Most High God. We got the word of God. That's right. right. Read. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanded to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. So they're forbidding to marry. That's one of those doctrines of the devils. That's what we learn in Catholicism. Right. The priest forbidding to marry. But the Bible tells us that a man, that, that a, uh, the woman is given to the man. A man is supposed to marry a woman. How are we going to produce? How are we going to be fruitful and multiply if we going by a doctrine that we for, forbidden to marry? Bring it out. Okay? Now, give me 1 uh, Timothy 6. 1 right. Timothy chapter 6, verse 2. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud knowing nothing. So now we bring into you the words of God. This is the wholesome doctrine. This is the doctrine of life. Right. The, the word is what's going to wash us and clean us up from being so-called Negroes or niggas to being the holy men of God. Right. That's, right. That's what this word is going to do. He coming with some madness, some foolishness. But he realized he asked the same question three times. He just didn't like the answer. Right. If the Bible says male and female created he them, when you hear the word them, what does that mean? That's multiple people. That's right. How you keep saying it's one people? Right. And his brother said he in college. That's the, that's the uh, result of a public high school education. Read. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 4. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. So that's what you just saw. Okay? And, and look, we pray that the brother get his spirit right and repent. Right. Okay? But anybody that come up before us with them foolish doctrines, they going to get slayed by the word. Right. Okay? 
We ain't the Christian church out here. We ain't playing with the Most High God word. Right. You understand? Give me that. Uh, you got something? Yep. What, what you got? Titus chapter 3, verse 9. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. You see that? So we got to avoid that, man. Give me, I'm going to give you, this is the last one, and we're going to close it out. Psalms 94 and 16. So I'm going to show you what we out here to do. Because we out here, like the, like the soldier said earlier, it's cold, it's late, and we out here in the highways and, and hedges to teach our people. We bringing the word out to our people. We going out where our people are. Right. You understand? We go to the hood. Brother, we in all places on the earth right now. That's right. We got our leaders going into the deep parts of Africa where this gospel ain't never been taught. Not that the Bible ain't never been there, but when we go, we ain't bringing that white image. Right, that's right. We bringing the truth according to the Bible. That's right. right. You understand? And we doing that right here in America and scattered throughout the four corners to, to bring you up, brother. To lift you up. You understand? Read. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? That question, the most High God said, who going to rise up for him? You seeing us. We right here in front of you. We the ones rising up to, to, to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God and to bring order back in the earth. Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? You know what iniquity is? Sin. Just like he was teaching you earlier, uh, uh, Leviticus 21 and 5, about shaving the beard. This brother come, he's shaving his beard. We didn't get a chance to reprove him of his sin because he got foolish questions. Right. You understand? So he come up before the prophets walk away and he ain't been fair nothing because of his own foolishness. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So that's what we doing today. We standing up for the most high God against all evilness and wickedness. And don't think that we didn't used to be part of it, brother. We used to be part of it too. But all praises to the Most High, he spared us in our wickedness, and then he allowed us to be on, on that side like you and hear the word of God, and it con and it converted us. All right, yeah, Psalms, uh, Acts 3.19. It converted us, and now through uh, uh, an ap application of the scriptures, of the laws, and time, now we over here, and we give it back by teaching our people who they are. You understand what I'm saying? All right. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Because we don't want that sky to crack and Christ to come back and we in the midst of sin. Right. Because it's too late then. You ain't making no side deals. Okay? So right now is when we repent. Here in the land of our captivities, you repent, you ask the Most High to forgive you, you study, you, you read your Bible, take that flyer, get online, go to the classes, find out what you got to do. You understand? You start applying God's commandments. That's what it's all about, brother, because we got to do that right here in the land of our captivity. That's right. Okay, before Christ returns. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org